Welcome everybody, my name is Tim Sandy and I'm a Cohesity Systems Engineer. In this video, I'm going to talk about running applications on the Cohesity platform, specifically the CLAM AV application. So it has the ability to run applications in containers on the Cohesity platform. We have built our own applications that Cohesity has developed to run as a container on our platform, as well as we have integrated in with some other third-party applications, such as Clam AV. Again, this one we're going to talk about is using Clam AV. First of all, in order to use applications on the Cohesity platform, you do need to go to the gear icon here, go to the cluster, then go to summary, and then you're going to click on configure. And you're going to see down here, we have this enable apps management. So if you have not done this yet, you will need to do this first to enable apps management. You'll need to give it a dedicated subnet. As the description shows here, it must be between a slash 16 and a slash 12. Uh, in order to run applications. So once you've enabled this, this will enable you to run applications. Now keep in mind, running applications on your Cohesity platform will incur compute resources. So if you start running a bunch of applications and you've only got maybe three or four nodes in your cluster, uh, you will want to monitor how much compute resources those applications are running. So keep that in mind. Running Clam AV is specifically for antivirus against uh, file shares. Now, Cohesity platform, we besides doing data protection as a use case, we can also run as a NAS. So we can do file and object store in NFS, SMB, and S3 protocols. So if you go to file services here and then views, you're going to see that I've created multiple views. Okay, so I've created this audited view, which is essentially a SMB share. And I'm going to go ahead and go over here and click the three dots. And then I'm going to say copy that SMB path. And as you can see here, it's copied to the clipboard. Then as you can see here, I have this path already in here. I can repaste it again just to show. But in this particular audited view share, I have a bunch of files in here, different types. As you can see, I got text files, PowerPoint, Excel, and I've put just some real basic information, some usernames, some uh, fake secu social security numbers and information, stuff like that. So uh, in here is a share with a bunch of different files on it. So what I'm going to do next is I need to go ahead and go to the marketplace and then go to my apps. So once you've enabled the applications for your cluster, you then need to download the file or the, uh, the container. And you can do that by, if you click on all apps here, you're going to see it takes you out to the Cohesity marketplace. And as you can see here is Clam IV. You'll see that there are other Cohesity branded applications such as Spotlight, Runbook, EasyScript, Insight, Reporting, and Helios. And then there's also, again, some other miscellaneous uh, third-party apps that we've worked with them, and they've containerized our applications so that you can run them on our platform. So you would then go and click on Get the App to download the app. Once the app has been downloaded to the environment, it'll be listed here. And then as you can see, we then go and click run app and we're going to go ahead and set the QS policy just, uh, I'm going to say low and then I'm going to say click and run the app and you will see that it will launch the app. It might, based upon your uh, system's resources, it's going to take a little bit to kick off the application. While this is initializing, I'm going to pause the video. So as you see now, the app is fully running under the status here, and then we can click open app. And as you see, it'll open a new browser window. And we're gonna go ahead and click edit in order to make changes to this. So as you can see here, if you've got proxy settings, you may have to go ahead and send that. Here, uh, database servers, uh, again, this is uh, automatically filled in because we're using Clam AV. You can set the frequency of the scans so I can say every day if I wanted to and click save. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to file services. We're going to go to antivirus. We're going to go to providers. And as you can see, it recognizes that we already have the Clam IV app here, but it's not enabled. So we need to go ahead and enable that. And once we enable that, we can then go to secured views. So we can add the view that we want to protect. 
And again, we're gonna do the audited view. So here are the different options. You can scan on open and close. Uh, what you can do all files, you can exclude certain ones, only certain ones, a timeout value, and also if the scan cannot be completed, then to block the access to that file. So you can go in and, and edit all those and look at the settings, but we're just going to do it on this audited view and we're going to click add. So now that we have this view added here, it is all ready to go. So then we're going to go over to views. And we're going to go into the audited view and going to click the pencil here to edit. And as you can see, just to notice that we do have the antivirus turned on in those settings. So by setting that in the other area, we went ahead and updated the settings here in the actual view itself. So and click cancel. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go again back to this audited view share. And I'm going to drop a fake virus as just a text file that has some characters in there that it'll pick it up as a fake virus. So I'm going to drag and drop that into there. So now we got that file in there. So now I'm going to go back to antivirus. And then you're going to see that that fake virus.txt I just dropped in there, it was recognized as a virus in that file and it went ahead and it quarantined it because that's the settings that we have is to, to go ahead and quarantine the file if it picks up a virus. Now here we can go ahead, we can unquarantine the file if it isn't and it's a valid file. Uh, we can also delete the file from here. So as you can see by running the Clam AV as a containerized app on the Coesity platform, we can use Clam AV to protect all your file shares uh, in what we call the cohesity views or shares as we're acting as a NAS appliance. So that's it for the Clam AV application and how you can set it up. This is just a quick overview of how to initially get it configured and to start scanning your file shares that are residing on your cohesity platform. Thank you very much and have a great day.